Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ademola Badmos and if this is your first time, please remember to subscribe and like the video if you find it helpful. So in the last video, we've been able to create the steps and uh, we've um, also highlighted one of the advantages that this brings. That it means you can create your steps even when your test environment is not ready, but you already have um, the functional requirement documents. You already know the kind of test cases that you want to create. You can all have it here. It doesn't necessarily have to mean that everything will be correct. As you can see in the last video, we had to change some of the things that we had here. So I recommend that you watch the last video before we continue with this. So we did promise that um, once we start this video, we are going to try to run the script and see what it will bring for us. So we'll try to run the script. Expectedly, there will be an error because there is no step definition for it. But I would just like us to see how the whole thing works and the type of error you will get. Yes. Says there is a step implementation missing, meaning that we have not created a step definition for it. So let us begin to create our step definition. Let's stop this and go back here. So how do we create a step definition? We can create that definition by coming here remember in the first uh, in the second video i did talk about the configuration here i mentioned the configuration here and why it is important because we have set ours to true this is the configuration that we are going to obey we are going to create a new folder that will bear the same name it will bear the same name as pardon me as the feature file but not the extension so they will have the same name then inside it we'll create our step folder our step definition file pardon me so we can call it standard um let's say dot steps because it's a spec file dot js so we have this done but we still need to define our step so i will do one then i will just try to populate the rest so if i copy this if i was using an id like webstorm i can just um, right click i can just click on it and it will i can automatically create the step definition i do not know how that can be done using vs code so i would not attempt to even try to do it but i can show you a simple way to create your own step definition once you already remember the the mocha syntax that we talked about in the very first series that we made for um cypress so it says generate step definition or copy to clipboard or generate step definition and step to dynamic path so we can use this uh, this option so let's click to a dynamic path and see if it will do it for us so we are going to click cypress integration standard it should create it here so steps have been generated that's one way to do it or we can try to create it by ourselves so with this let's look at step, our step here it has been created automatically for us so that's one way to go about it that's so we can equally do the this for this as you can see here generate step definition dynamic file path so we just pick the file path and we'll do that now if we try to do to default path, it means that it will automatically create a default path for us. But uh, since we've already created it by ourselves, let's even do that. We can delete it, and, but let's just try to do it. So let's do this. Generate file to default path. As you can see, it generated an error for us. So let's just um, continue to use our step here and um inside here it has been created then let's just select the two the remaining two instead of doing one after the other we could have just have selected everything and um, in the standard folder and the standard spec 
So if we check the standard spec file now, all our step files, press the remaining two, click login button. Did we make a mistake with it? Oh, I guess we have to do it one after the other. Let's click it again and see if it works. Says it has been generated. Oh yes. So we probably didn't click it. No. It replicated itself, so it is a wrong step. So we have to do it one after the other. When you click the login button, see the products page. No. We need to do the insertion. So when we insert this. Oh, the mistake we made with this was um, we didn't um, when we when we did this, we can use the den for it. So it's asking us what it it should use. So we'll use the den integration. Then we'll come here and we create it. So then the insert password because it doesn't recognize the and so we use um then for it as well the integration folder and the standard and the spec file so when we check the spec file now we have this now this is the beauty of everything this is not arranged the way this is another thing it is not arranged the way our steps are arranged but it doesn't mean that it won't work. It will pick it up. Now, this is a regex representation of what we are going to do. These are regex symbols, right? When we begin to do some reusing, we will make some modifications to this. But let's just go ahead with this. So in, the, in subsequent videos, when there is need to make the modification, we'll make the modification. So let's begin to define our steps. The first thing that we need to do, we've not, mind you, we've not started creating custom commands yet. Or now that we have done this, in the next video, we should just create custom commands. So we begin to apply custom commands into these steps. So now that we have defined the step, but to show that what we have done here would work, let's just test with cy.visit. The auto uh, suggestion I'm using, as you can see, is tab nine. So it's also an extension that you can pick up here, tab nine, and it will giving you giving you some auto suggestions. So now that we have done this, let us try to run our test again. It should launch the site, and the remaining steps will remain would not run, though we've defined them, but it will just move. As you can see, it is trying to visit why is it taking time do i have an internet issue but unlike before as you can see it is trying to visit now unlike before that it said that um it couldn't um, find the step that the step implementation was missing now that we don't have that missing so this is how it will work so in the next video we will be using the cypress field command to create custom commands and um, thank you for watching and see you in the next video please do not forget to like and subscribe if you find this helpful bye bye